Hey guys, Anthony 4 Before Diesel. Once again with some more information for you. This one's more related, um, a little bit more into the future. Well, it's not really into the future, it's still in the past, but also into the future. More about the 1GD FTV engine injectors and some of the issues you may see there and some of the maintenance you need to do that's not that different to the 1KDs really. So first, let's have a look at the injectors. Here we've got a brand new genuine set of injectors for a 1GD FTV, which is going to be replaced shortly. So if you're into that sort of information, subscribe, turn the bell on, because then you won't miss out on it, right? If you like the information, hit the like button so we know we're doing the right thing. Uh, so some brand new injectors here, brand new genuine. Just so you know, uh, these don't even come in boxes, these suckers, right? So some suppliers, depends where, where you buy them from, this sort of thing. We buy as much as we can, uh, possibly locally, uh, but where it's not possible, we'll get our stock wherever we need to. The key thing is that we're only gonna supply you brand new, genuine injectors. Never remanufactured other brands or any other counterfeit stuff that you may get elsewhere. If it's too good to be true, it's probably because it isn't, right? So brand new, let's just have a quick look. So one of the main points, you know, with the 1KD, there's a seating washer now. Let me grab one of the seating washers that came with this and you'll see it is almost, I haven't checked the part number. This, these seats always come with injectors, okay? They look identical to what the 1KD FTV and I've never bothered checking them. They may be different, but I'll go as far as to say they're gonna work if they are different. Might be a different part number, same product. Just gonna have another look at actually. The pot, there's a possibility they may be thicker and they'll be, yeah, they are a bit thicker. There'll be other videos. I haven't analyzed this stuff yet, right? We're gonna get really good at this. We're not as good at this as we are 1KD stuff because 1GDs are newer and we're gonna get a whole heap of information experience under our belts before we come out and tell you absolutely everything like it's it and that's it, if you know what I mean. So it's not it and that's it at the moment. The injectors come with the seats. They are different to the 1KD seats. I reckon you could probably interchange them and get away with it. I'm not saying you should do that. I'm just saying from experience, that's what I believe. Now you can see the bottom of the injector, similar situation with the nozzle, the seating area where that seating gasket seat, they call it a sheet, where it goes, but sheets are just confusing. You're gonna think you're in bed or something. We'll start talking about sheets, right? You can see the nozzle, the cap nut there, right? That's the cap nut. You can see, oh look, oh look, it's a slightly different, but look, there's an O-ring there. What do you reckon that might be there for? You know, anyway, There'll be more videos explaining the scenario here, but the same scenario as, you know, 1KDs, this seating washer probably ain't gonna last forever, and it may last longer because there's new engineering, there's new technology, things have changed, but one thing for sure is, people don't wanna find out about it the hard way. So when you've done over 200,000 Ks, it might be worth considering replacing those seats, and uh, while you're in there doing the job, you might as well possibly put some fresh squirters because we know these brand new fresh ones, they're gonna work a lot better than some old flogged ones, right? Makes sense so far. We don't see a lot of 1GD FTVs, a little bit of service here and there, mainly to our workshop partners. So we don't actually keep all this stuff in stock at this point in time, but things change, right? Obviously, as the years go by, what's gonna happen? We're gonna see more 1GDs, more people that wanna replace those little seating washers because you know they realize they're not going to last forever and you may just some people may choose just to put those in there it all depends on a matter of i suppose budget whether you replace the injectors while you're there because you go mate they've done over 200 thousand k's <coughs> excuse me dry throat mate it's bloody windy it's hay fever as well so i'm probably going to cop that again so what i'll do i'll grab a bottle of water here we are and keep that handy so but we don't want you wasting injectors, so stay tuned because if we happen to test any of the injectors we're replacing, we're going to be looking at diagnostics. And if we think it's a waste of time to replace the injectors, then we're going to say, stop replacing these, just pull them out, redo the seats, that sort of thing. The problem is it's always that risk of contamination, but the setup with this 1GD, I believe it's less risk of contamination. Look, we're still going to replace the fuel pipes. You can see we've got the fuel pipes there. Right, that's how we roll. They're not that expensive in the whole scheme of things. We want nice clean pipes going near our new injectors <coughs> for our own reasons. We're at the point, we're not even too fussed about what Toyota reckon about whether you should do that or not, because I want to do that. If I'm spending the money on these suckers, I want those to go with it. 
Same as we're going to have a look at the inlet manifold. We've got all the intake and EJR gaskets, all the little uh, washers and gaskets. There's quite a few here, probably some you can't see. There's the little fuel return line gaskets. So we don't have a kit for this, but, and I'm not trying to sell kits for this, but one way to make sure you only get brand new genuine, hopefully at the right price, is uh, hit me up Monday morning. If you like the information I'm sharing and you want to support me, that's when you take notice of the Monday morning thing. So Monday mornings from 8 a.m., injector kits for 1KDs, BFE kits for Prados and Hiluxes, front wheel bearings, mainly for Prados, but we've got some Hilux ones there as well, so it's whatever you need. That's about all we do as far as, we're not a parts business. These things were put together as a solution <coughs> to the regular sort of problems and wear and tear we see to help you guys out. If it was just a parts. <coughs> oh, mate, you know, I'm not gonna say the C word, the C19, but only a test can tell. No, it's not that, I'm just, I've got Mitch's out there stirring up the dust. So, you know, it's a windy day. It's all getting stirred up. The eyes, the throat, terrible. Allergy, mate. Too much histamine. Anyway, the point is, uh, you know, we can't service everyone. It's only those people that listen. Monday's parts day. So the other days we're busy. We're in the workshop, that sort of thing. I'll help you out as much as possible, where possible. But Monday's the dedicated parts day. And we're very busy Monday. So our work at our end bleeds into Tuesday. So to be quite honest, if you contact us on uh, Tuesday for an injector kit on Tuesday afternoon or Wednesday or Thursday, it is fairly inconvenient. You know, I'm not complaining, but I sort of am. It's like if you rock up at Coles at midnight and you knew that the closing hours were 10 p.m. or 8 p.m., right? You know, like, I can't help you, mate. So Monday is the dedicated business parts day. Text messages only. The phone doesn't ring. I can't believe the amount of people that still try and ring. I just see all these red numbers, right, whenever it is. When I just go to missed calls. I delete them all. I, I don't take calls if, you know, <laughs> the phone doesn't ring. It's a text message service. If a call needs to be made, I'll instigate the call and we'll sort you out, no issues at all. Just want to show you this injector kit. I'll get that out of the way and there's something else I want to show you as well. Turbochargers. We can help you with turbochargers, okay? So, brand new, genuine or OEM, whatever. That's what we recommend. Um, look, we got. We also put in the uh, turbo kit. So, all the parts we get, we, we have a look. We open it up, make sure everything's check everything, make sure there's no damage. We repack it. This isn't going to get sent to anyone like this banging around in a box that's too big for it. We will put extra padding in there. The gasket kit will go into the box one way or another. Now, people are going to ask the price. Well, it varies depending on VIN number, which turbo exactly. I'll tell you this, I've never had a turbo that's been more than three grand delivered to your door with the kit. So you can save some money because a lot of the turbo is about three and a half plus fitting and all that sort of thing. Um, some of them, they all vary a lot, right? So if you need a turbo, if you're going to shop around, do that first, come to me last. If you're getting quoted higher prices, I'm going to try and I'll probably most likely get it to your door. Somewhere under three grand is all I can say. I've never had more dearer than that. You might save another hundred or two off that. Just depends where you are. If you want to come and pick it up, then that works well. Just remember, we don't have FPOF facilities here. We're old school, so it's either a transfer, whatever, or bring cash to pay for it, right? And you can save yourself some money if you don't want to save delivery. All right. So if you're local to, you know, the areas that we operate from, so that's your turbo, we can help you with that. Same thing if you can Mondays, but look, it's you need it when you need it. So if you're desperate for parts and you can't wait till Monday, then hey, give me a try. If I'm busy on the tools and I can't get back to you for hours or the rest of the day or because it gets buried with messages of similar people, I apologize in advance, I've dedicated Monday for parts day. So if you wanna get your parts, definitely I'm gonna help you out Monday and I apologize if I miss you, but at the end of the, the, end of the day, I go through and check all the messages and by that double, triple checking, generally we get everyone sorted. And I did have one of those uh, this week on Monday at five o'clock where I went, hey, I missed one. And you know, I text him then, he sent the order, he sent the payment, bang, it was all packed and sent Tuesday anyway, so no dramas. Our sending day is gonna be Tuesday, um, obviously, because we're flat out Monday taking orders, providing information. It's all in those videos. Check our playlist called How To Buy My Kits. There's an injector information video called Latest Injector Information. That came out in January or something, so it's nearly a year old, but it's still fairly accurate. That's your best one, and you let me know the items you don't need. If you want the lot, say, mate, I want the lot. From the year of your vehicle, 
I will say you don't need the suction control valve or something like that, or if you've checked, you know you've got the short one, you can say I definitely need the SCV, I would like that please, or I don't need the SCV, I've got a long one, or I can't afford the SCV at the moment, so I'm just going to do the injectors and I'll do the SCV later. It's not related, You're not. it's not part of the same job, it's just another important component to replace that we know the short ones are problematic, we've talked about it before. Anyway, blah blah blah, I'm out of here, I just wanted to update you on this information. Subscribe, turn the bell on so you don't miss all those important messages and updates. This is what we work on, this is what we specialise in and it's real so if you want to know that's what you need to do guys again please hit the like button it's like saying thank you for the information we provided i hope you liked it thanks for watching bada bing bada boom out of here see ya